Good morning, everybody, and welcome into day number three of the Play vs. High School Fall 2020 Championship. This is Rocket League as well. I'm Spaceman, joined by Brody Infinity once again, and uh, so this is this is a little update. So uh, we had gone through about two days now. We've had about eight best of seven, seven best of seven. Today's gonna be a little bit shorter. We have more matches coming tomorrow, but uh, instead of it being a one long championship bracket, each region had two teams competing to not only represent the region. But take home the win as well. So the, the winners we've had all throughout have all been crowned champion of their respective state. And that's where we sit. So the, the qualifiers or more essentially just the finals that we've been playing have been won and done. When you win, you're now the finalist of your region. So again, we, we, we send our congratulations and our well wishes to all of the winners who have gone through from Michigan to Mississippi, Louisiana, Maine, uh, Massachusetts, New York, all the different regions, all the way down to our final match yesterday, which was the coastal region. All of those players and teams who have won in their respective state are the finalist winners in their respective field. So we move into today, and I believe we only have four uh, four matches and or four series to get through again, all best of sevens. We have Arkansas coming up first, Georgia, Texas, and then Mountain region to close it out. But Brody, mm -hmm. uh, talk to me a little bit before we get into our first match with Arkansas. Talk to me a little bit about, uh, obviously, how this event's gone so far and, and what you're expecting today. Do you think we're going to get what we saw yesterday with diversity of matches, or are we again looking at, you know, all game sevens, all four O's? What do you think? I have no logic for today, mm. nothing to go off. I have no idea how today is going to go. I mean, yesterday I was kind of uh, of the belief that we'd see game sevens all day long, I mean, because of course day number one was right. four zeros. It was, it was fully sweeps uh, across the entire day. Now that's kind of been negated. I have no idea where to go with this. We literally have no idea how today is going to look and that's a good thing i think you know you know we, we don't know whether to expect four zeros or, or game sevens i do hope though that we do see a variety of games i don't want to see just sort of four oh sweeps uh, for all of these matches because that wouldn't be fun we want to see you're back and forth rocket league that's what we want today yeah absolutely and i think we got a nice plethora and a nice uh, diverse group of, of matches yesterday uh we got a little taste of everything we got to see game sevens four o's uh i don't think we saw game six we didn't see a four two yesterday maybe we'll see that today but our first matchup is arkansas i believe we're all ready to go and if we are let's get into game number one of our arkansas series georgia Texas mountain region coming up after that, but here we go. It's Arkansas and you guys know the deal Northside versus Episcopal uh, 99 robbers will be your Episcopal team. So let's get into it Brody. Welcome back. Let's get into some matches Yeah, absolutely. So I should say we're starting off with the Grizzlies Alpha side for Northside High and 99 robbers for uh, Episcopal as I have learned how to say that now today. Yeah. It's been a real lesson for me. I'm glad like I'm, getting, needed one. I'm getting an education and how to pronounce very a variety Good. of American provinces. It, it really does make me feel it's making me prepared for when I eventually move to Alaska. Um, You're still so on I that, know, huh? yeah, I'm still absolutely on okay. that. So I know, hey, this is this is where I'm going to go. Uh, I'm going to go to Episcopal. Apparently, I'm going to go to Northside High. But all these, well, not, not schools, that, that wouldn't be right. But I, I'm going to the places. That's, that's, that's I'm going to go enough. for a, a tour of America, um, as it were. I'm getting taught how to say the place names, which just feels uh, wonderful. That being said, we have the Grizzlies Alpha Team versus the Nightingale Robbers to kick things off today. Let's hope for a close matchup. It's Grizzlies in blue, the 99 Robbers in the orange. Love that name, Johanneson. Such a great name. Mm -hmm. On this side, though, Dubs had to go for the challenge. It won't work. We'll go to the corner with it. A couple of pressure couple of pressure uh, some pressure being applied but uh, at the end of the day it seems like a little bit of hesitation for the 99 robbers how they want to attack this offense at the moment punching up through the corner at one ricochet is out so we'll get it back to midfield and for Grizz's alpha again any any situation here all these teams are fighting to represent both the state but also the, the finalist part of this bracket so uh, the winner of these matchups will be the finalist in their region and at some point we will maybe see a Ooh. championship type event but for the moment we continue on about two minutes left or two minutes gone here in game one there's a first oh. shot second one not going to be there follow up redirect will not get this is alpha they are applying all this pressure at the moment two shots at goal neither of them going to go in the first one was a small miss the second one a beautiful save there and it's a great counter coming in from archive you're going to see it here Hannison, I think an unfortunate touch, just getting that ball away from Cedar, but Archive is there for it. Goes in, 99 Roberts, they strike first. Off a counter attack too, that's got to be a rough one for Grizzlies Alpha. Certainly is, but again, one goal game, not a whole 
lot of an issue, big deal. I don't know words. Uh, it, listen, we saw a lot of it yesterday where teams would go up 1-0 and they would give up five, six goals after that. So uh, teams early will concede some, but now we just we expect them to find a different way forward. Archive, we'll try to send it for a teammate. There's a demo in the middle of the net. Clear the lane for the moment, though. We'll go to the corner with it. That ball's going to be kept up. 240 to play, and game one has flown by, and we'll fly by with it. Karan. Back to midfield. Numbers are going to be there. Cuts it off. And 99 Robert still holding on to a 1 0 lead. That 1 0 lead, it is a, uh, it's a small one, of course. So it's not the strongest of leads that you could potentially have. Jonasson puts it in, though. Potential goal, and there it is from up high. It's a great pass in for Jonasson. Karan is there to pick it up, and let's have a look at this again. Great win and a great aerial. Almost uh, misses it there, Karan. Has to cor course correct going up for the air. But it's a goal nonetheless, and it's going to see us at a one-to-one -one game, Sean, early on. And Champions Field brings out the best and worst of most people. So off the start, we're certainly seeing the former. That one will ricochet back down. And off a sloppy start, we've seen 99 robbers really clean up their game. They're getting to these challenges much quicker. They're not being indecisive or hesitant with where they bring the ball. Earlier, they won the kickoff and brought it right back to their own half for some reason. So now they're, they're cleaning up that aspect. They go to the sidewall. Try to clear this out between defenders. Karan going to circle into the corner. We'll grab full boost. Here's a chance now to make it 2-1. But they poke it out, leave it in the corner, and then fall off the play. One minute 40 now on the clock here for a team to find their lead. Both teams have had moments so far in game number one of this series. Of course, uh, again, you've got to refer to some of those earlier chances from Gritty's Alpha. Maybe looking for a repeat here. Karan follows it all the way in. You're going to see this once again, but it's a great play. Unfortunate for C-Dubs to go for that clear. It's a bit of a weak one. But Karan able to capitalize. is a little bit too high for an archetype to deal with. And Grudacy Salfa from 1-0 down here in game number one. They look good. They've got a 2-1 advantage. It's our first game of the best of seven. We might be seeing all seven games. I'd be looking forward to that. Or we might be seeing a 4-0. I'd also be looking to that as well. So give me the distance. Give me nothing. I'll take anything. Rocket League, we love you. 120 to go. 2-1 lead. A couple of numbers will funnel in. But that ball doesn't really move anywhere. So the clear doesn't come in. And the alpha... Grizzlies Alpha, excuse me, will have to play some pretty good long ball here. Trying to kill the time with about 60 seconds left. Dub's trying to slow it down. They're not getting a lot of momentum behind these hits. They're not bringing the ball oh, upfield. that's unfortunate. And once they had it in the blue half, it, I gave some criticism to the Grizzlies Alpha, but on the other side, the 99 Robbers didn't really do much to advance the ball, and they get it set back to their own half, and they get scored on for 3-1. And that's Archive and uh, Narcotize there, they do that. It's an accidental rotation coming in from Narcotize. He bumps Archive. He would have been there to deal with that shot. Bumps him out of the play. And Grizzly Salfa now 3-1 up here against the 99 Robbers. As we move 47 seconds left on the clock. 99 Robbers, they could potentially make something of this. Of course, they have already got one goal in this game. So it's not like they can't do it, but it's a good attempt here coming in from Archive. Unfortunately, it isn't going to happen. Narcotize, you've got to make your way back, buddy. It does do so. Now, Johansson, just going to get this one away. It doesn't. It's a good shot from Narcotize. It's a tight angle. Not really much in it. Karan deals with it relatively easily. And now, potentially open net. g Dog's going to get this one away. But again, it's time here. That really does matter. With 15 seconds left on the clock, 99 Robbers, they have to make something happen. The ball getting away from the blue half. That's not what you want to see if you're the 99 Robbers. And with seven seconds left, time dwindling down. Two seconds, and it's over. The Grizzlies Alpha going to win game number one. Yeah, and it just seemed a little lackluster uh, for the 99 Robbers. I don't think they were, were really sure how they wanted to play through that game, uh, especially when there was 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 an overbearingness at midfield uh, from north side. It, it just seemed like a couple of times they, they didn't know, essentially, uh, how they wanted to play through midfield and how they wanted to bring that ball out. But again, that's only game one. It's a best of seven, plenty of time. But uh, your thoughts on, on I guess, I guess north side's performance in game one, uh, I feel like they did what they had to do to get it done. Yeah, uh, absolutely. I, I think that was really well played from Northside there in game number one. They played with some serious aggression. They were able to capitalize on a few mistakes. I do feel bad for a 99 Robbers somewhat. There was a little bit of miscommunication, especially on that third and final goal that came through, where, of course, we did see the bump. Um, I, yeah, I do feel like, generally speaking, uh, coming off the back of game number one, 99 Robbers, right now at least, 
Uh, their biggest problem is coming from the fact that uh, they are basically causing these goals. They're giving yeah. the ball away. It's it's weak clears. Uh, positioning isn't there to deal with for essentially the next shot, which of course turns out to be a goal. And of course, that last bump, it's a rough one. It is. Well, let's get let's get into game two. And uh, I think that if that if if this is how the series is going to go, we could see a very quick series again. But I also think that. Uh, the 99 robbers have a chance absolutely uh they they showed they showed consistency and 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 cohesion during the first two minutes but it's really in those last three minutes where the game broke down for them and for now uh, you're just kind of looking to build one block after another you know get one thing underneath you okay let's get some infield passing next let's get our challenges back in the right position next let's let's start creating some spacing on the field it just takes one step at a time but they have to be able to win some of these long distance rotations for the moment though they're able to do it keep it at zero zero here they are. So there needs to be a win here for the 99 Robbers. Let's see if they can equalize this game. They know what they need to improve on from game number one. Because we've told them, Sean. We, they know now what they need to do. Let's see if uh, they can listen to the old casters on the desk. You absolutely know everything and anything to do with Rocket League. But there it is. Again, it's the same mistake. I don't ne think necessarily 99 Robbers had the foresight to see that one going that wrong. But again, it's C-Dubs going for a clear right into Karan. Nobody at the back line to deal with it, and it's a goal. Yep, and some of that long-distance shot will be will be difficult to stave away. And for strikers, you're going to eat up that defense when they don't go up to contest. So you leave him wide open, he's going to take a shot. They will win the kickoff, though. Trying to escape. That's going to be a goal right over the defender off the kickoff. And all of a sudden, we have a tie game. Archive right off the start here. C-Dubs wins my fifth. Really, to be fair, he just sits in the middle. But Archive with the follow-up. Go straight for it. Crossing the goal post. Are oh, the two defenders in the back line? Nothing comes of it. So Grizzlies Alpha here. Able to tie this. Or sorry, not no, Rob is able to tie this game up. Let's see now who can take the lead. Karan goes for a demo. Now with one defender. It's gonna be C dubs. Sends it long. Great save from Figgy. So four minutes to go here. Sit on Champions Field in Game 2. Game 1 win. Grizzlies Alpha taking it. 3-1. Now tied up. Narcotai is getting bullied into the corner. Everyone just kind of hanging out. Not sure who's going to take ball. We'll flip one. And looks like for the moment, the Grizzlies might have a chance, but it's taken away. And just absolutely baited out. The slowdown from Archive. So what he does is he brings the ball up. He slows down and lets the quick reset hold for a minute and then goes for the flip reset and gets it to the back of the net once the defender has moved out of position. There's just baiting the defender. Great play there. 2-1. Mechanical skill going to bring the 99 Robbers through to a 2-1 scoreline. Very well played from Archive. Now let's see if they can follow up with number three. Ball goes into the mid. Going to be a player there to receive it. No. C-Dub's actually not going for it. Bit of an awkward position for an Archive. Archive sends it long though. Karan there, this could be a goal, Archive gets it over one, but it's a great clear from Figgy. Karan looking to capitalize on it, unfortunately he isn't able to do much at all, but send it towards the corner. Johannesson needs to win this one, does so. Challenge is theirs. Archive sends it towards the blue half. Gotta get this away if you're the Grizzlies Alpha, you uh, do not want to go 3-1 down. It's a pretty good scoreline for teams like this. Ball does go towards the orange half. So now maybe a chance for the Grizzlies Alpha, but no one there to capitalize once again. All oh, sky up. Looked like an opportunity, but the robbers hold to on to a 2-1 lead. And now the similar situation what we saw in game one is on the other side. So a mirrored reflection as the Grizzlies Alpha are struggling. To slow down the offense of the robbers, there's a first shot they've had in a while. Follow up to the B there. That's gonna, let's just say, get blocked, but no, it's a goal and it's a tie game 2 2. Well, 2 2 now for the Grizzlies Alpha again. Figgy comes in for a goal that oh, could have been saved from C Dubs. Unfortunately, I think just flipped instead of going for it. So, as you say now, Sean, 2 for 2 in this one. We're halfway through the game as well, so it's an eventful game two between these two rosters. And uh, already early on, this uh, looks to be shaping up for like a solid series in the fight for Arkansas. It certainly is. And if it goes back and forth like this, which we're inclined to believe it might, surely we'll be seeing a long distance series. And I'm all for that. We go into the corner, two minutes to go. And again, sometimes Rocket League feels like the longest game. Sometimes it feels like the shortest. There's a goal, 3-2. 
lead now to Grizz's Alpha. This game has felt like it's going on for a while, but it's all because of some of the slow play through the corners. Both teams struggling with it. It's Karan will get the lead out for Grizzlies. Good stuff there for Karan. Grizzlies now with the lead in this one. 99 Robbers. Need to change things here. If not, Grizzlies Alpha will go 2-0 to zero up in this series. Jonathan puts it close. Figgy there to receive. It's a good... Oh, it's such an attempt. Karan tries to put it in. Narcos size. Luckily doesn't go for the first shot. Has the game sense to know that is high. Is ready for the second, therefore. And the 99 Robbers here. Well, they do not concede yet another goal. That might have been the dagger if it went in. Arnold Cross. Nice touch there. At 25, and again, if you're our Grizzlies, this is usually where I'd say kill time, but I, I'm thinking another goal is what you need to close out this game. For the Robbers, though, hold on to a couple of waves, and then try to swing this ball around back to midfield like they're doing now. Anyone else going to be there? Archive, I believe, will. Second touch almost off the back wall. You take it back out to midfield, and you're seeing a little bit of desperation from the Grizzlies, feeling like they aren't comfortable with this one-goal lead. However, they're not meeting the challenges, and Archive has escaped a couple of times, able to get this ball all the way back in the blue half uncontested. Still centering down to a teammate. Almost made it 3-3. Almost made it 3-3 indeed here, and there it is. Oh, again, Narcotize puts it through. Figgy able to put a stop to it in the bottom left corner so living to see well at least another attempt here at the goal here our Grizzlies Alpha unfortunately for Honison actually bumps away the defender back towards the defensive position so 99 Robbers are going to get another shot at a goal but with 22 seconds left on the clock here it's a great redirect from Karan nobody there to deal with that that's what happens when Figgy is pushed way too far up player already in the net ready to receive Karan's hit Figgy, too close to the action there, out of position, and it leads to a goal for the 99 Robbers. Yeah, there's just really not a reason to have all three members pushed up so far. You need at least one person back who can rotate. Tie game now. And a, a game that the Grizzlies probably feel like they should have walked away with going up 2-0. They might get a chance here in a minute. No dunk for the moment. Follow-up not going to be there. And again, everyone pushed up. One will rotate back. Try to cut it off as Figgy. Bad touch. That one going to be kept up. We'll drop. We'll go to OT. Overtime hit for these two rosters. Remember, folks, 3-1 was the scoreline of our first game here in this best of seven. Grizzly Salford ended up winning that one. Now, OT between the 99 Robbers and Grizzly Salford. Who takes it? That's the big question. The there it is. I know you've got to get that away. As you can rightly point out, Sean, it was so scrappy. And, and that right there, that is potentially the interaction that might have killed it, right? You see, uh, I think it was Figgy and uh, Johannesson both attempt to get the ball away. And in doing so, they essentially dead it right into the box. Johannesson tries to deal with it. Unfortunately, at that point, it's a little bit too late. And 99 Robbers able to capitalize on the mistake. Yeah, certainly a situation where they're up 3-2 with about a minute left. You do want that back. But to uh, the 99 Robbers showing resolve and consistency, uh, able to win some of those challenges. And Archive, who ran point for the majority of that game, was a big factor into their win. They tap the series now 1-1. And if anything, if we've learned anything from this entire weekend, is that you can never count out a team when they're down a game, when they're down two games. Mm -hmm. uh, we might be seeing a full set here, which I'm excited about. Let's get right into game three. But Brody, um, any any mistake you're noticing on on the north side part, or was it just mm. bad timing for them in the, those last two goals? Specifically in game number two. Game number one, I don't think the mistakes were there that much. I think, I think if anything, they had some real good teamwork in game number one. Mm. For game two, that chemistry kind of just disappeared. I, sure. I don't know what happened there in game number two, but their rotations were completely off. I mean, you know, one of the goals that she came, I think it was the one that, that forced the OT. The goal came from bad positioning from Figgy, and it's not just Figgy, it's the entire team. You can fix those mistakes, you'll be fine and dandy for game number three. Absolutely, let's get into the next one. Thai series 1-1 at the moment. And again, we expect this to go back and forth, a little bit of the, the distance might be held today as kickoff, won by the 99 Roppers, they'll get there first as well. Johannesson, who went out to get midfield boost, has circled back into the play. And we'll send that one towards the side wall. So this one actually doesn't do much because Johannesson went up for the pre-jump to try to read this, but the, the ball took too long in the air. And now 
a kind of a breakdown on that first offensive transition as the Grizzlies Alpha are struggling to clear this ball out. And a lot of that goes to the 99 Robbers and how quickly they're getting up to these challenges. Well, now for Quran, sends it actually back towards the defensive half. I'm kind of intrigued as to why. I mean, I know it's a bit of an awkward position anyway, so I guess you are just getting it away from the two attackers. But nonetheless, it's an awkward attempt to clear. One that doesn't equalize to that. And oh, it's good play from Johannesson to get that ball away from Narcissus. Still, danger coming your way. Archetype trying it from up high is denied. Johannesson again on the defense, but you have to get this ball away if you're Grizzlies Alpha. The last 20 to 30 seconds has all been action inside the blue half, and now maybe a chance here for a goal. That was a good flip that they had. This time redirected, and they win the 50 on that one. We'll find the goal. Grizzlies Alpha feeling very lucky and blessed in that situation. They couldn't clear it out. 99 Robbers bring it right back to Figgy, who wins the initial challenge over and gets the goal. So a nice, a nice, uh, I was thinking head sessions, that's not the right word. Uh, a nice, you know, commitment to the play. Uh, getting up there, getting aggressive, and going for that hit instead of just letting the ball be moved back to midfield. Yeah, absolutely. Very well played here from Grizzlies as uh, they are going to score first in this one. The 99 Robbers looking to equalize sooner rather than later. Ball goes through. Narcotize is there to receive it. Archive going to be responsible for the pass. And Archive, uh, this is what I mean again, right? And, uh, you know, I don't want to criticize them because they are potentially close to a goal here. But Archive has no reason whatsoever to get involved with that play. I know that maybe your teammate isn't having the most successful time making something of it, but, like, still, yeah. <laughs> like, you're just putting your team out of position. Sure. And this is the big problem. And albeit it, it isn't that disastrous, they are able to still make some kind of attack out of it. Still, you got to imagine that this would have been a lot quicker if that hadn't happened. Outside though, going to go for it anyway. It's individual skill, comes with a turnaround, fakes out Figgy, and then goes for the shot over the defender. Easy stuff for Outside. We're not seeing a lot of cohesiveness and synergy on the defensive end for both teams. A lot of it has just been uh, whoever's running the ball, let's go get him, let's go challenge this push, let's go challenge the carrier. And it, it just seems like, you know, couple of times maybe communication would have helped out in those situations double commit comes in that pays off we go back to midfield Quran gonna go for the challenge who else is up next no one archive comes through midfield gets the second goal a 2-1 lead in this game Narcotize brings it through to the attacker there Archive ready to receive it and again it seems to be those two actually I'm kind of wondering what C-Dubs is doing on the field um, I, if I remember it correctly from game number one C-Dubs was playing extremely defensively minded um, that might still be the case uh, hence why we're not seeing them attacks here because Archive and Narcotize continue to duo up for these offensive pushes it's going to be Figgy now on the defense C-Dubs does actually push one through Archive now looking for it. it's in the air you need a couple more touches though to make sure it isn't cleared it's going to be down into it and there it is it hangs in the air for a moment Narcotize able to bat it down towards goal and hey would you look at that again Sean it's Archive and Narcotize combining mm -hmm. for the goal yeah these guys have been on fire and the duality has certainly paid dividends here in game number two or excuse me game number three both teams sit tied up in the series and you know winner of this you guys know math it's a 2-1 lead and surely will help their chances in taking the series and becoming the, the representatives after this finalist competition of Arkansas. After this, we got Georgia, Texas, and the Mountain Region, so still three series to go. But here, a more highly contested match, maybe what a lot of people were expecting. Absolutely. This has uh, been an incredible start to, uh, to day number three of our uh, casting here on the uh, Play Versus Fall 2020 High School Championships and a good attempt from Arxive to go for a number four really has been star of the show for me so far from the 99 Robbers. Uh, speaking of which, I mean, I'm, I'm presuming there is a, a name, a reason that they're called the 99 Robbers, but like there's three of them. So where's the other, where's the other 96? Are they like the reserve teams or something? Is I, this I don't really, know. is I, this really what you've been thinking about I for the past answers. 30 seconds? They, either they have 33 different Rocket League teams. Or 33 different esports teams, or maybe 33 different sports teams here at this school. I don't know. Uh, either way, this is it. It would be pretty cool if there was some kind of a good story behind the 99 Robbers uh, name. It's a cool name. Is it, uh, that was where I was going with that. It was, it's a cool name, guys. If I was your parent, I would have left you outside in the cold. Dude, honestly, I'm convinced that they did. 
I've got some like hidden backstory or some kind of or something there. Oh yeah, my parents left me when I was a kid and I found out I was adopted. No, um, yeah, that that would be something, wouldn't it? But, but, uh, mm, but yeah, I'm surprised in regards to uh, in regards to what you said. Well, that 42, was... se 42 seconds, 3-1. 99 Robbers holding on to the lead and, and you know, playing to win, not to lose at the moment. That might be a goal. It will be. A little bit bump. I think there was an assist from Dubs. I think so. As uh, Narcotai's, you see here, working through the corner, gets a little bump. Yep, it was Dubs' goal, but Narcotai seals the fate. 4-1. Oh, That's going to be a game three win for the 99 Robbers. They'll go up 2-1 in the series. That's me, Narcotai. She's taking away the stat line from somebody who needs it. <laughs> see Dubs. Um, you know, he hasn't really been involved in many of the plays here on the attacking end, so I think for him to uh, not get that goal, it's horrible. Narcotise, you should be ashamed of yourself as uh, the ball gets taken away. Goal gets taken away from C-Dubs. Looking for another one, though. Isn't going to find it there. 99 Robbers, though, make no mistake. I mean, they have won this game. There's 11 seconds left. There's not really much that they could do. Okay, there is a shot from Johansson, but that was the last one that realistically is going to do anything in this one. As uh, the Grizzlies Alpha roster... They lose game number three. They start this series 1-0, but 99 Robbers, they seem to have fixed a few of their mistakes. They're looking better now. Yep, they certainly are. And if you are uh, Episcopal, I mean, you needed someone to step up and, and kind of be the IGL. It looks like Archive has kind of been that person, uh, certainly commanding the field, being able to rotate with the ball properly. And uh, sometimes that's all it takes. You just need someone to step up and say, hey, let's let's work the offense through me. I'll help set up everyone for, for an opportunity for a shot. And they all, they currently are up 2-1 on the series. On the other side, for Northside, uh, looking at this matchup versus Episcopal, you're definitely looking for that similar situation. You're looking uh, for, for someone to to be an IGL you're looking for someone like an archive but at the moment I think they're just they're they're a little bit behind a lot of the plays it seems like they're a step or two behind and they're not mm -hmm. reading everything as quickly and now therefore they're having to play off the back foot constantly yeah I don't, I don't think you're wrong at the moment uh, for Grizzlies for me there's a few more mistakes starting to creep in here you know those same mistakes that we see in game number two in terms of positioning right still present I feel right uh, you, you're you're consistently just running at the attacker um or i keep on using the word running as if people have legs in this game they don't uh you're consistently driving at the attacker and you're doing that not individually you're doing that um as a team it's right. kind of like ball chasing right yeah. um but it's not because i don't like calling people ball chasers because that's rude it's horrible and i would never do that <laughs> that being said these guys they do need to fix their issue right now of, sure of, uh, I think if they were to start to be a little bit more constructive in terms of their defensive plays, they should be a lot better off. Absolutely. So let's get into game number four of the series. 2-1 series lead for Episcopal. Pulling out the, the, the Pedro Pascal of the, the IGLs here. Just calling all the right plays, being the heroes that they needed. I worked that in, and that means my job is done. Oh, dear. What was it I was trying to work into the broadcast earlier? I don't know. You said something about 99 robbers, so I gave up on you. Uh, I don't know, but I'm quite surprised I haven't made a joke about it. I've got 99 problems. I, kind of, I think that's maybe what they were going for, but they just changed it. it maybe. Out. Oh, maybe. 99 robbers. Hey, well, guess what? Yeah. That's almost a goal, and it will be. Yeah. Oh, Figgy. That's... <laughs> I love how Figgy in that situation was kind of like just sat there. It's just like, well, yeah, that's him. That's good enough. And uh, it does go in. Uh, kind of unfortunate there for, uh, for C-Dubs on the defense. It gets past them just a little bit tiniest of margins, but it is enough. Grizzlies, they do score number one. They certainly do. And again, this, this series has been back and forth already. I would expect nothing less. It was a game one win for Northside, the Grizzlies, and then game two and three go in the hands of Episcopal for now. We sit at a 1-0 lead for Northside, so... We could be seeing a tie up 2 2. That's a great shot. Where has this team been all series? It's Quran, long distance, 2 0. And this seems to be a characteristic of the high school Rocket League mm -hmm. that we've seen so far. It's right. It's like you're seeing different teams from game to game. 99 Robbers here do not seem like they've got the same vigor they had in games number two and three. Whereas Grizzlies Alpha, they've somehow found this offense that just wasn't there in the last two games. I don't even know about it. It's, it's just so weird to see teams just turn on a switch and completely dominate the opposition. I mean, I say that like 2-0 to dominate the scoreline, but I think more to the point, if we had possession stats, it would probably show at the moment that Grizzlies Alpha, they've had more control of the ball 
and they've done more with it when they have had it. More to the point. But this could be something for the 99 Robbers. Goes into the mid. It's a little bit too much on the ball there for C-dubs. Archive does try to make something of it. But maybe this could be it. Archive. It's a nice bump for one. Unfortunately, there's just a couple more defenders. A couple too many. <laughs> Some of my favorite times in Rocket League are just watching the players in the back get bullied out of the net. Just getting absolutely <laughs> yeah. destroyed. You can see it in, the, in your peripheral vision, right? You can like, yeah. you just see the players. It's like, yep, they're just getting go. absolutely sent off the scene. It's wonderful. 2-0 lead, and you're seeing the aggression come out of midfield. Again, uh, something I criticized them for earlier in the series, being a little bit lackluster and not wanting to win the game, but playing not to lose. For right now, though, they are trying their best to make this 3-0. However, double commit might bite them. This Dubs is going to try to circle this one around. Won't work for the moment. Two pin on the sidewall and give up possession of the ball. No one is going to come in for the challenge. Finally, Archive will say, I'll do that. About three minutes gone here. This Quran goes up into the corner. Anyone else there to center? Cross out. No connection. It will. Never mind. Figgy gets his second goal of the game. That one should have been cut off immediately as soon as it goes up in the air. But, hey, they, they make it work. Two defenders go for that as well. Uh, they, they probably could have saved it if they tried to go low for the ball. Mm. I think that, that would have been much better. It was, it was just an unfortunate read, I think, of the shot and where it was going. Three flips don't work in that situation. And now 3-0 down on the 99 rows, maybe 4. It's an attempt. It goes off both bars. But this is going to be a goal for the 99 Robbers. Uh, overzealous play from the Grizzlies Alpha, and they're punished for it. And once again, my dog's just absolutely loving the counterattack here. <laughs> I mean, know, that, is, that is just the easiest gone. goal like you've ever yes. seen. Yeah. Yeah, okay, that. I mean, you're, what, do British dogs, do they bark differently? What do you mean? Sorry. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Do British dogs. Do do they you... bark differently? No, they don't. Are you sure? Well, they, they, they probably are smart. Nah. Wow. Oh, yeah, you know. Well, I only know one American in a you. And, I mean, that you is... You know multiple that, yeah. Americans. That's, yeah, that's true. But... We're not like an extinct species. I mean, I <laughs> <laughs> come back to me in six months. It might be a different answer, but... <laughs> There's a goal. 4-1. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, right. Positivity. We're going to talk about extinct Hey, Grizzly's species. Alpha scored back four goals. There you go. They they did. That's some positive thoughts for Grizzly Alpha. Back to the dog point, though. Yeah, I'm surprised that Nala, who is my dog, hasn't oh, nice been barking. It, yeah, it is. It, it's because my surname I'm is I'm glad Lion. that... Uh, my surname that... is Lion. That's right? Yeah, I like that. I'm glad that you named yeah. your dog something cool, and then your name is still Brody, which is still dumb, so... That's not my fault. That's my <laughs> parents. <laughs> that wasn't down to me. <laughs> Although, I don't know if I had a choice. I don't know why I'd name myself. Probably, like, Brendan or something like that's that. That's not a bad name. <laughs> I don't know. You never see any Brendans, do you? And, uh, that's I'd name you like you're Sir William or I, like you can have like Sirs and, and knighthoods and stuff. That's I like that. That's dope. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. <laughs> oh dear, that's mm. uh, that's quite something. But yeah. Anyway, uh, so we haven't heard my dog bark. She probably will uh, add her input to this cast at some point uh, during. I'm surprised, like I said, it hasn't happened in favor of one or two. Mm. But uh, we'll see. We'll see whether or not that happens. For now, though. Back to the game. One minute left on the clock here. Grizzly South have done a great job here of holding oh, control nice. of the ball, but it is going to be the 99 Robbers and Hooper Arkside to score. Yep, 4-2. 105 to play. Plenty of time winnable, as, uh, as all Twitch chat would say. And for the moment, I mean, if they're scoring at this pace, we will be seeing an OT, but the Grizzlies Alpha continue to hold on to this lead. Kickoff one by the 99 Robbers. They're going to slow this one down, but they give the ball right back for a minute. Instead of following in for a contest, two players rotate back for the Grizzlies, so now you have to play great defense, great clear as well, and the pinch to the corner buys them some time. 49 seconds and counting. And everyone's pushed up. Oh, God. That might be an own goal if they're not lucky. And again, there's really no reason to have this many people pushed up past midfield. I love the aggression, but at a cost, it will come through. Will this get blocked? It will. And barring two blocks, this would have been 4-4. Important block that from, uh, I think that was Johannes. I'm not entirely sure now. My brain is just uh, completely melted at the block. But it was a block nonetheless, and it means the 99 Robbers are not going to score. And now Grizzly South for 15 seconds left. Uh, they're looking for a dagger. Of course, they already do technically have it, so it's just a case of wasting time. And if you can get another goal, 
Well, why the heck not? We're looking for it. Johansson puts it long. That's it. Nobody there to meet it, and that is going to be it. The ball drops. Grizzlies, they take that one. We are 2-2 in this series. Yep. And this series is essentially going to go back and forth. Uh, I think we all kind of expected this, but... After the way some of these matches have started, I mean, you know, you, you think that one team's gonna gonna have the upper hand or the advantage, and then it just goes back and forth, back and forth. But uh, kind of your thoughts, the the North side, much more aggressive once they got the lead. Is something they didn't do in the first two games, but mm -hmm. again, the defensive mistakes still still stand out for me, and I am worried about that come down the stretch. And like something like if we get to a game six or seven, where we're going guaranteed a game six, but if we go to a game seven, I am worried about. Uh, some of that overcommitment at midfield once they do have a lead that has burned up on two goals. Um, yeah, I mean, like one of the things I will say is, you know, we ask for these these defensive holds to be filled. You know, as we said earlier on, I think it was yeah. day number one, there was a situation where we were talking about what teams needed to do and such. And, you know, I said that these things don't change from game to game. You know, you can have a talk if you're their coach. I don't know if coaches are allowed to sort of talk about what, what needs to change in between maps and stuff. Um, but, you know, you cannot change that much in between matches. It, you know, the only thing that's really going to change is your your mindset and maybe uh, maybe some small, minute changes in the way sure. that you personally are playing. As a unit, those team changes don't happen unless you actually have a sit down session to change them. So Absolutely. I wouldn't expect these defensive holes to be filled anytime soon. Absolutely. Let's get into game number five. Two two tied up in our series. My brain feels like it's gonna explode because I'm trying to sneeze and it won't come out. But we go back to Champions Field. Five minutes to play, and the winner of this uh, again, math is my hardest subject, but it's easy for everyone else. The winner of this goes up three two in the series. Match point, series point. And off the start, Karan feeling very confident on the kickoff. And uh, of course, Arkansas Champions Point as well, right? And then this is the the winner of this match walk, walks away as the fall 2020 Arkansas champions. Let's see which one of these two teams it will be. Three more games in this series to decide it. And there's number one. Gets passed in from Johansson and Karan gonna finish it. And here we go again. Johansson puts it through. Karan there to meet in the bottom left corner. The perfect timing to make sure that it gets past Narcos highs. And the Grizzlies Alpha start strong. We've seen that a couple of times down. They lose the kickoff though. This problem. I, I think they. I think they just whiffed on the kickoff accidentally. Sometimes when you're going from that angle, you're trying to get the the left side of your car out in front of the ball. So if, if it does get you know sent directly into your body, it kind of goes straight up in the air, and you can have a teammate circle in and go for an aerial. I think that was the play there, but uh, he just kind of went a little bit too far to the left and missed the ball entirely, which happens. But still, we've seen this a couple of times with Grizzlies Alpha, where they have gone up 1-0. And now it's just on to the 9 9 Robbers slow the game down with a long clear. Okay. A couple of times that one's been on that. This should be a goal. It will be blocked away. Great recovery. And again, Karan, two touches on that one and saves both shots. Very close there. The 9 9 Robbers were to actually getting that goal. It felt like the, uh, I don't even remember which player it was, but 9 uh, 9 Robbers were able to clear it. And actually, they did have an open net. So if they maybe got a little bit more power, a little bit more accuracy on that clear. It could have turned into a goal right there and then, but it's not to be. The 99 Robbers don't get a goal out of that situation. Now Grizzlies Alpha hit. Looking for this. Oh, open maybe for a second. Grizzlies Alpha leave a lane. They do close it relatively quickly, but again, it's these kind of risky plays you need to be aware of. And now here it goes in. Figgy thinks the player there, Arkside, is going to go for a high hit. That's not the case at all. Arkside making the smart move and just keeping it low. I like that play. Again, the infield passing starting to open up in that lower third. Three minutes to go. Tie game, tie series. Winner of this is on series point. A lot of pressure being applied to ha anyone having to come back from that deficit. We will go to a game six guarantee. That one's going to carry down. Follow up not going to be there. A little bit high. And now we'll go back the length of the field into the orange half. There was a chance for Grizzlies Alpha, but they unfortunately seem to be slowing down as quickly as they bring that ball up. And now 99 Robbers can spread the field uncontested through the side of the field. And finally, someone will get up there to meet that ball. But a couple of times now, we've seen 99 Robbers bring that ball up with no one around. And it just gives them more time, more, ch more chances, more space on the field to be creative. Absolutely. Here, Grizzlies Alpha. 
We're going to take a lead in this one. 99 Robbers also in the same position. Narcotize gets past two players. So now all on Quran to get a good clear on this. Does do so. Arkside looking for it. Narcotize gets sent it back. Arkside going to be there to receive. But nobody. C dubs again. And, and I will say one thing. Like, you know, this, this is not me trashing on C dubs. I feel like C dubs is playing just a little bit too much reserve. Mm. And I can kind of. I'm getting an idea of why that is. I feel like it's because. Narcotize and Arcside are playing this so aggressively. That could be a goal. Ah, oh, good save from uh, Arcside. Anyway, I feel like Narcotize and Arcside. Well, that's their duo name. Narcotize and Arcside are playing this so aggressively that C Dubs, I think, is being forced into a sort of defender role, which when situations like that arise, it's like they have to stay there. Otherwise, if they mess up the shot, it's a goal towards Grizzlies. They need to fix that. I think maybe we need to see some more rotational plays coming out of arc side from arc size. And I, I don't sure. often say this. They need to play more reserve. Sure. I totally get that. And at the moment, you're just looking for that one long breakaway goal. I think it's going to come from a clear redirected, a little bit high. Follow up shot. Blocked and saved away. So double commit works out. But nar narcotize. Trying to play through the corner. Karan going to go up with it. We go back to midfield for the moment. That one's on net. Great save as well. Johannesson in the defense has, has stepped up for north side. They have saved away a couple of potential goals. Could have been 5-1 at this moment. One minute remaining. Tie game here for both teams. Maybe we'll see an OT the first time in the series. That one's going to fall quietly down to the corner. And Narcotize will be running out in front. Challenge. Taken away. Sent back. Volleyball has ensued now on the field. There's nobody has really a firm grasp on this possession. Ron does send one up. C Dubs deals with it though. Looking for this as Arc Scythe. Potentially a lane opening up. C Dubs in the defense. Surprise, surprise. Johannesson just whiffs it. Comes forward to the goal. Unfortunately, nothing on that one though. 99 Robbers now looking for this. Narcotaz gets a pass to one. It goes across goal. Johannesson looking for a good clear on this. Isn't going to find it. Arcsai able to convert that into a potential shot. Now here we go. Nine seconds left on the play. Quran comes from up high. C-Dubs is too far into the net there to deal with that one. And they did not think that ball was coming as fast as it was. Quran comes off the backboard. Knows that's a goal before it even gets shot. Beautiful. With seven seconds left on the clock. Grizzlies Alpha. They're able to take this lead. And seven seconds now, Sean, for the 99 Rollers to do something. It's going to come down to this play. They won't be able to do it with kill times. Going off the backboard. Second goal going to be there. Catches regardless. 3-2. The lead now. Northside have control. All it takes is one more game. They are on series point, but something tells me the 99 robbers will not go quietly. They are going to send this to a game seven. I have a feeling with how back and forth this series has been, I mean, it's literally been back and forth aside from games two and three you had a 1-0 lead from north side 1-1 one, 1-2 one, one, they take game four yes i know i did math correctly take game four then we go to game five they take game five now we go to game six mm -hmm. i have a feeling that north or that episcopal are going to bounce back but north side on series point do you think they're going to get it done here I honestly couldn't call this one. Uh, you know, it seems like we're getting two different teams here uh, for both rosters, uh, depending on which game we're playing. Nine and sure. Robbers, so, you know, we, we take a look at games number two and three, and they looked like an astounding roster. They had some incredible play. One thing I will say is just looking, you know, from an analytical perspective about how that last game went, and really, I think how the whole series is going for this 99 Robbers roster for Episcopal, Arcsive, um and it escapes me now uh, which player it is i would say narcotic or something like that Nar narcotize uh, narcotize yeah, yeah. I, the name just completely escaped me considering the fact we've just casted five games <laughs> uh, narcotize and arcside they are getting very aggressive as a duo which is great uh, if you have that synergy with your duo go for it sure but at the same time they also need to know when to step off the gas a little bit leave some room for c dubs to come through and there have been opportunities for c dubs but i don't think that's anywhere near enough and i think it's it's very telling that c dubs is consistently the one on the defense and you know as we saw in that game there was a chance for 99 robbers where they had two players push all the way up but c dubs the last man was 
they they had a shot. I'm convinced that C Dubs would have, even if it didn't go in, they had a shot to at least apply some pressure. They couldn't go for it for fear of losing a goal off the back of it. That yeah. shouldn't be happening. Absolutely. Let's get into game number six. Again, this is series point for at least the moment. North side on the other side though, 99 robbers. You need one more win. When we go to a game seven, will you be able to pull it off? That is the question. A couple of times in this series, we've started off the game with Northside finding a goal. Now we ask the same of 99 Robbers. Can you replicate said results? Flip reset. Looked good, but uh, a little bit too far ahead of the defender. And they'll read that one. We go through the corner with it. Archive can try to circle it back down to the ground, and we sky. And we'll meet it there. And we're starting to see some of these challenges get a lot more aggressive from the Grizzlies Alpha. We're starting to meet them in the air. Grizzlies Alpha here on the defense straight away. It's going to be Karan meeting the ball in the air. Arxive coming down for it. This is the opportunity figure. You need to get this away. It's a janky clear. Still won't. It is a clear nonetheless. Karan going to have to get another touch on it to make sure it is away from the goal line. C Dubs brings it down. The aggression now coming out from C Dubs. This is a good pass. Arxive is going to go for it. Unfortunately, doesn't connect with the ball. Karan now, an opportunity. If anything, though, it's just to get the ball away from the blue half. This has been a great early minute of action from the 99 Robbers. And oh my goodness, now sending towards that orange half. Figgy with a chance. Has to get this on our target, though. There it is. It's an accurate shot. And you could kind of see it winding up there for a second. 99 Robbers, they got overzealous. They pushed up really aggressively. And to be fair, why wouldn't you? And they do get punished for it with a counter. Again, they'll start off the game with a goal. This is where pressure starts to mount a little bit. But 99 Robbers have been able to bounce back each time. And I expect we'll see a similar result. So that one's on a cross. Third out. Oh, God. That could have been a goal had it, would, had it have been on target. Follow-up shot not quite there. This They're missing wide open nets. Would have been 2-0. Well, and, uh, wow. Yeah, it's probably the easiest look you'll get at the net all day. Should have been looking at a 2-0 -well lead. And we might just come to refer to that later on in this very game. Of course, as it currently stands, Grizzlies Alpha 1-0 up. They uh, they keep this lead. The scoreline stays as is. They go through. And they are going to be your Arkansas Fall 2020 High School Championship here. I play versus. Now, though, can they extend their lead? Or will 99 Robbers be able to tie this game up? Currently, it is 99 Robbers facing all of this pressure. Karan going to put the ball in. Unfortunately, just a little bit too far left and a little bit too high of the goal. Karan going for it once again. Figgy and Johannesson going to have to go all the way back here. This is a potential goal here. The 99 Robbers, they just need to make sure they get this in. Mm. Karan gets actually past the defender. This is dangerous. Oh, nice pinch. Almost. Almost goal number two. They should have had three or four goals at this moment. The cross will come in. Still a 1-0 lead. 99 Robbers following in. Here comes the offense. There's the cross and the goal they were looking for. It's 1-1. Good attempt here from uh, Grizzlies to actually get this on the defense. Uh, but great stuff from the 99 Robbers. Arxive notices there's an opportunity. Narcotai's going to work off the back of a, a relatively weak touch on the defense. And it gets forced through the defensive line. As the 99 Robbers now able to tie this game up. Two minutes 20 left on the clock. We have a game in our hands, Sean. Certainly do. So much time on the clock for both teams. But now I feel like the pressure really is on the Grizzlies Alpha. They've had a couple of chances to really seal this game. They have not done it. And now we ask them, are you capable of closing the deal and, and making this a 4-2 series win? Or do we look at a game seven? 99 Robbers have momentum on their side. Trying to get it out of the orange half for the moment. We will sky it through midfield. Archive going to try to thread it. Almost across there. They'll get a second look at this ball. And we bring this to the ground. It's over one. Saved away. Love the challenge in the air. C-dubs following in. Archive. Touchdown. Close, but the block. And for a moment, we sit at 1-1. Yet another chance here. But it is going to be blocked away. This time for the 99 Robbers. And again, you know, I don't want to bring this up, Sean, but right now if Figgy would have scored the earlier goal, Grizzlies Alpha, they would be up 2-1. to one. Yep. They wouldn't be in a strenuous situation. They would be looking down the barrel of uh, potentially ending the series in game number six. Now, though, still more effort from either side here. 
There's a potential goal. Arkside going to go for a shot. Figgy saves it with ease. Straight into the blue half once more. Arkatias misses that, actually. Gets sent towards Arkside, who's ready for it. Picks it past two defenders. Looking for it. Passes in. Oh, it's a tight angle. Unfortunately, isn't able to make it as a goal. Now gets sent towards the r and Seven seconds. The cross there. Maybe a chance. A little whiff, so. And we've hit about 30 seconds left. Here's the cross down. No one else they're going to follow. Third man up. Everyone rotating back. One's all the way in the back line, so it's a 2v1 into the corner. Grizzlies Alpha have the numbers. But you're running out of time. We might be seeing OT for the first time in the series in game six. Long clear. Ten seconds to go. This one contested. Left in traffic. We'll get it out. Swinging. This might be a chance. Blocked away. It'll touch. And a nice touch to the other side. Slows it down. Kept up. Centered. Cross. Taken away. We might be going to OT in just a moment. We will. And that last hit. I, I, you know, it, it could have been a goal. They were left out for the other player. Unfortunately, that's not the case. And again, I want to bring it up. Sean. Fingy. Figgy. Could have scored that earlier goal. This would be done by now. But it is overtime nonetheless. Here's a potential shot. It's going to be followed in by Karan. Unfortunately, isn't able to make the goal out of it. So still now another chance. Pressure building up on the orange half of the field. They do get it away. A potential chance here for the 99 robbers to make something happen. A little bit dangerous about crossing that ball right over your net. But they do again. C-dubs. Archive going to try to take it out. No one else going to follow up. Double commit there. And after that first initial hit, there's a chance. Follow-up blocked away. After that first hit, looked like they might have had a chance to continue forward, but Archive going to recenter. And in that situation, would have loved to see him cut into the net instead of trying to bring that ball through the corner. He might have actually had a goal. There's a follow-up blocked into the side. A couple of mistakes for both teams that could have ended this game so easily. But a little bit hesitant on their commitment and the decision-making not quite there in OT. One minute of OT has passed now. Both teams have had chances. Arkside, I think, potentially the most convincing out of the chances that we've seen thus far. Now, though, he has another chance going for it. Unfortunately, Johannesson sits in front of the net, ready for the shot. c -dubs, though, he's been relatively quiet. I said this is the player that we want to see get more aggressive, or at least be given more space to do so. Does go for a couple of hits on the ball towards goal. Neither of them, though, meaningful. Easily blocked away from Grizzlies. Long clear starting to come out for both teams. Great recenter. And they just can't get to that ball ahead of the 99 Robbers defender. Archive circling in. Challenged. Narcotize gets taken out of the play. He's back to full strength. This ball hangs in the air for a bit. This might be the chance, though. That's going to waterfall down. A little bit sharper on the reentry than I expected, but still. Numbers are here. Challenges ensue. Robbers setting up. What a great touch. The follow-up won't be there, and the defensive effort for the moment is pretty good for Grizzlies. They hold on to a tie game in this OT. Again, there's always just a player there from the Grizzlies ready to deal with the aggression, but maybe not this time. c he has an opportunity. Oh, Honison gets it away by a hair's whip. <laughs> Again. Grizzlies just have players here. Maybe not mm. this time. The ball from high. Beautiful from Arkside. Carries it all the way down. And a nice flip at the end to make sure that one goes in. You're going to see it here again. Flip reset to do it. Johannesson tries to meet them in the air, but it's not enough. 99 Roberts, they force game number seven. What a way to kick off day three here of the Play versus Ball 2020 High School Championship. And at this moment, I honestly don't know who will win because it has been so back and forth. And at the moment, that's the second that's the second time I believe Arkside has been able to pull off that kind of flip reset to, to stun the stun the defender and get the goal. So yeah, I mean, back and forth for both teams. A lot of defensive errors, though, for both sides as well. Like open looks that should have been should have been capitalized on. Um, you're looking at, at uh, the 99 robbers on that last breakaway. Arkside, before that goal comes through, he had a chance to to cut the ball into the net and really get a good look at a shot, but instead takes it to the corner, gives up on the play. So uh, I'm still wondering, you know, uh, are these defensive mistakes going to bite them in the back? But uh, Brody, do you have a prediction for this game seven? 
Oh, do I have a prediction? No, I do, mm. I do not have a prediction, John. I mean, this is so hard to call, right? Both of these teams, yep. they have their strengths, they have their weaknesses. Um, it, it seems like 99 Robbers, they seem to have learned their lessons somewhat. Um, it does feel like Grizzlies, if they do have any weaknesses at the moment, it's that they sometimes aren't able to finish the shots that they do set up. Um, as we unfortunately learned there in game number six, where Grizzlies could have well ended it there. So right. um, it really does come down to just sort of uh, polishing the final product for both of these two teams. Whichever one can do it better, they will take game seven. Well, let's get into game seven. Enough waiting from us and enough talking from us. Let's see who is the winner and the representative finalist and you know championship winner of Arkansas. Will it be Grizzlies Alpha? Will it be 99 Robbers off the kickoff again? Almost had an opening goal, but for the Grizzlies Alpha, their whole shtick to this point has essentially been we get a goal within the first minute and then the game gets incredibly close and we don't score after that. So I'm wondering, you know, is that going to be similar here? It looks like for the moment they might have a chance. Well, for start here, the Grizzlies Alpha are looking for a chance. Figgy able to take it away from a defender looking to carry the ball away from the defense. Honestly, note. Not sure 50 in the midfield. Unfortunately, that isn't said to happen. Jonasson needs to do something on the defense. Okay, gets it over. Karan able to keep it out for now. This needs to be a better clear, though, from the Grizzlies Alpha lineup. As 99 Robbers, they've got players in position. T-Dubs puts it through Narcotize. It's just a little bit ahead of the ball. It's unfortunate position that it might have well been a goal. I don't know if the defender would have been ready for it. Probably not. In Game 7, uh, obviously, any small mistake might cost you the entire series, so... Both these teams, neither wants to give up that, that small defensive rotation, or that, that small double commit. Again, another shot that's off target for the Grizzlies Alpha. It seems like that might be kind of their Achilles heel at the moment. A couple of chances, there's the first goal. It goes to Narcotize, it goes to 99 Robbers. And the off target dash miss of Grizzlies Alpha. You go the length of the field the other way, and unfortunately for them, you will not see that same mistake for 99 Robbers. They find the first goal. And what a surprise. It's Ajax Saif and Narcotize again doing up for that shot. Saif puts it through. Narcotize able to finish up. And now Grizzlies Alpha right at the start here. Figgy gets it down. Ajax Saif going to save the bacon of 99 Robbers here. Still holding on to that 1-0 advantage. Karan actually does get a demo. That might enough open up the situation. And yes, it does. Figgy able to get it all the way from the blue half. It's a goal. Sometimes all it takes is just one big bump. That's a bump. That's all you need. Well, we love bumps. They're great. Three minutes to go. Tie game again. These teams have been sitting at a 1-1 scoreline, which seems like every single game. And it always comes down to the wire. But who's going to win the kickoff? It will be the Grizzlies. North side. Trying to lock down this game seven. A whiff there. Off target there. Not a great look. But uh, keeping themselves involved in the play. There's a nice little decent bump. Numbers start to funnel in. Coming down sharply. The only issue both teams have, and this is more of a strat for pro teams, but sometimes you will see it be utilized. Uh, clearing defenders. Somehow that ball almost goes in. Clearing defenders out of the back of the goal line and spreading the defense thin on the line so you can't just bunch up. That's usually a strat that you'll see in the CRL in the RLCS, but here it seems like a couple of times, or by a couple I mean the majority of the time, we play the ball through the corner, everyone starts to turtle up on defense and you just kind of throw that ball against a brick wall. So I would love to see them spread the ball through the middle of the field, try to work other angles other than the corner and, and try to spread that defensive line a little bit thinner. So that way you have a better look at the net and you don't have to worry about getting double committed on as this ball rotates back to midfield. 1-1 one, one in this game thus far. 2 minutes 15 on the clock for something to change. This has been a tense series all the way down to the wire of game number 7. Both of these teams have made their fair share of mistakes, but both of them have been some spectacular moments in this series. Now it's a case of who is able to finish up. What a bump from Arkside, right? Just uh, yep. takes Karan off the plate. Now maybe an opportunity for Arkside themselves. It was so wonderful, mechanically speaking, on the ball. Tries to do the flip reset. It has been denied. Now all the way back to the uh, orange goal. This is so back and forth, the play between these two teams. Definitely is. Again, back and forth. It's too early to call now. But I can predict we might be going to OT with that shot. I want to end it here. 
And again, everyone bunches up and then it takes one long clear. We all funnel back to midfield. Numbers, there's a pass. First pass we've seen in a while and a great save. Figgy keeping it 1-1, potentially saving the series for Grizzlies Alpha. That could be a really important as we moment as we go further into this game. Karan now looking to put it through to the mid. Doesn't happen, but does it for anyway. Johannes going to be responsible for that, but a 99 rubber's touch is going to mean that it's not an accurate ball. Good clear from Karan. Going to have to stay on that if uh, they want to get it away proper. 99 rubber's still a threat here in the blue half, but Figgy may be gearing up for something. Johannes goes down immediately. It's a shot towards goal. Mark Tice is going to save it. 35 seconds now on the clock here. 99 Robbers looking for this game. Karan pushes forward. Johannesson is there. Karan, how close to the ball? <laughs> so unfortunate. Just to the left. Mark Tice and Arkside able to deal with it. Send this ball back. Long clears come out for both teams. Arkside going to try to slow it down. Doesn't get the redirect, but this one's still kept up. Go back down with 10 seconds. How do they play it out? Here come the numbers, there's the pass, no one else is there. And yeah, you don't want to give up a chance to get scored on a long clear. This one will touch, we'll go to OT. OT, Sean, would we have it any other way right Absolutely not. Game number seven in our opening match of day three here in the play versus fall 2020 high school championship. These are the matches of Rocket League that we just love to see. Who is going to take this one? It's been so back and forth between these two teams. They both have had their moments. Ooh. And it's a risky moment there. Arkside able to capitalize on it. Narcotize gets the goal. And the dynamic duo able to close things out as the 99 Robbers, Episcopal Collegiate, they become your Arkansas play versus fall 2020 high school champions. I'm just watching that replay. And <laughs> a north side. On the hit off the crossbar, all three commit to the hit. And then on the reset up, all three commit to, to the pass. So it's just, again, the, the triple commits. This was kind of how the defense was all series. And uh, it, for both teams, it is something to keep an eye on. Um, congratulations again to the 99 Robbers. They become the champions of Arkansas. But it's just important to remember uh, that the, the defense, again, there's a lot to work on because there was there were so many times where you saw two, three members at a time just full committing to that ball, trying to get all of their body in front of it. And it left wide open sections of the net completely available for the other team. So uh, again, I'm not trying to rub dirt anyway. Just uh, congratulations to 99 Robbers. It was a great effort in that OT, but uh, but definitely like Northside probably thinking, man, we could have had that game had we not made that small, small mistake in the net. Yeah, and there was a few mistakes as well, right? I mean, uh, going all the way back to game number six, Northside, they could have ended it there. I, I think, you know, we. <laughs> you got to go back to it. I feel very bad for Figgy to bring this up again. But you yep. miss that open shot in game number six. Things look very, very different there. We don't even see a game seven. It ends 4-2 uh, to the Grizzlies, uh, Northside High. But that's not to be the case. We have our first winner of the evening. Arkansas goes the way of Piscopal in the 99 Robbers roster. Congratulations to you folks. You're our first winners of day three. And congr yeah, congratulations once again, but that means that Arkansas is now done and wrapped in a little bow. Coming up next, we have Georgia, which is our second best of seven here for day number three of the Fall 2020 High School Championship presented by Play Versus. After that, it's Texas and the Mountain Region, so let's get into the Georgia matchup. But first, we have to go to a commercial break, and when we come back, our second best of seven of the day. <laughs> 